I want to talk about a subtlety that comes up uh, when one teaches the PEMDAS rules, the so-called PEMDAS rules of precedence, that has to do with uh, the order of operation when evaluating an expression. So P is parentheses, E is exponents, M and D is multiplication, division, A and S are addition and subtraction. Let's look at a simple example. 1 plus 2 minus 3 times 4. If we look at PEMDAS, we see that we have uh, multiplication, uh, um, a subtraction, and um, an addition here. And the highest uh, order here, the first have to do with multiplication, um, comes first in the hierarchy here before addition and subtraction. So the PEMDAS will tell us do the multiplication before you do the subtraction or the um, addition. So that's 3 times 4, which is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 12. And then we look at PEMDAS again, and it tells us to do addition subtractions of the same precedence, but they have to be done left to right, same with multiplication division. They're on the same line, they have the same precedence, but they have to be done left to right as they occur when we read them. So here we see that uh, PEMDAS tells us to do the 1 plus 2 first. So let me highlight that. The 1 plus 2, which is 3, minus 12, and that's is equal to negative 9. So, so far, so good. That's pretty easy. Now let's look at the example that students really get confused about, and that's negative for example, negative 4 squared. And many students will evaluate this to be equal to 16, or positive 16. That's really the wrong answer. So I'm going to put a not equal to here. Um, and I want to see why, why this is not equal to 16. And once I was teaching a class, and we were going over the PEMDAS rules, and the students asked me, why is it um, not equal to 16? They were convinced that it was equal to 16. And I was looking at the PEMDAS rules, and I could not really see a way to explain it. I mean, I looked at that, but I didn't really have a good answer. And uh, I did check another three or four books, and they, they either had a wrong answer, like the books I was using, or they had no answer. Um, so I, I thought about it a little more, and it occurred to me that there was really a missing operation. This PEMDAS was incomplete and really there should have been a U, a unary minus. So let me leave it at 3.5 here. Um, and that once I realized that this unary minus operation was missing, it, it clarified everything because this really is not a minus operation in the sense of subtracting two numbers, but this is taking the opposite of a number, what's called unary minus. So if we look at a different example here, negative 4 times 2. Now that we have our unary minus, we can really figure out what the order should be. We see uh, multiplication, and multiplication comes before unary minus, so this should be really um, doing the uh, multiplication first. So let me highlight this. That is done first. And so the answer is negative 8. Now if we go back to our negative 4 squared, there are two ways of, of looking at this. One way is um, to think of it as the negative 4 being squared, like this. And the other way of looking at it is looking at the just the 4 being squared. So I'm going to write it like like this. And I have put the parentheses to make it clear what is done first. Here it's the unary minus is performed first on the 4 and then that is squared. Whereas here the square is done first and then the unary minus. And the correct interpretation is number 2, this one. Um, so this this one here 
this this is um, the incorrect interpretation because they, it doesn't follow those rules. If we look at the um, the rules here, we see that exponents come before unary minus. So that's correct, and this is then negative 16. So this really is the correct answer to this problem. And we see that uh, really it should have never been PEMDAS, but it should have been PEMDUS. We had U that was a missing letter.